and here he is everybody on the battle ground he is your host he is the YouTube champion and people's champion the one and only Rick the Rock And that's right, I am Rick The Rock. And this is the number one big, bold and electrifying people's WWE channel. As always, you guys know what to do. Go and view on my Facebook page, the People WWE page, team, bring it. Share this video all over the people's internet. Tell your friends about Rick The Rock. Spread that people's word. Also, go and view and like WWE World Wrestling Network on Facebook. Comment below. Go check out all my other videos. Check out my Cruiserweight Classic Review and NXT Main Event Reviews. I'm on Facebook, Richard J. Pitt. Follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock Pitt. Hashtag Rick the Rock. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Remember, remember Team Bring It Worldwide. If you like and subscribe, you'll get a shout out and I'll start covering WWE rumours. But we are just six day. We are just days away. And The Rock means days away from WWE Battle Ground. And on that people's road, we step off on the SmackDown review. So it was SmackDown Live, and it was also the WWE Draft 2016. I will give my opinion on each and every draft pick. So, Raw had the first few picks, first draft picks. Seth Rollins, Charlotte and Finn Balor got drafted to Raw. Seth Rollins, okay. Charlotte should really be a floater. Um, or at least it means title should be a floater, so it should be on both brands. Because what now, what does SmackDown do for a women's title? Um, unfortunately, the women's division on SmackDown is too naff and too weak to really get another championship and what, so that's, I would have added Charlotte as a floater, or at least with me, Settle as a floater. And Finn Balor going to Raw. Yeah, that was good for Finn Balor. Going to Friday night, going to Tuesday night SmackDown, sorry. The WWE Champion Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles. Good that AJ Styles is going to SmackDown. And Dean Ambrose, that's good. And now the WWE title will be on SmackDown. So that's huge. Drew the King Lawler, Baron Saxton. Mauro Rolano and Michael Cole were all on commentary, so that's good. I think the first ever four-man commentary team. Just a second. First match of the night. In a fresh match, John Cena beat Luke Gallows, so that doesn't mean to be Cena heading into battleground. Talking of the Doctor of Thogonomy, it's the face that runs the place, John Cena. He got drafted to, to SmackDown, so that's huge along with Randy Orton, so that's big. Going to Monday Night Raw, the powerhouse Roman Reigns, the beast, Brock Lesnar, and your WWE Tag Team Champions, The New Day, Roman Reigns, fair enough. Brock Lesnar should really be a floater, floater to be on both shows, because um, Brock Lesnar's really gonna, only going to face a select few of big stars, possibly, and being on Raw really doesn't give him much of a choice. Um, the new day again. The tag team title should be fl on be float floating both Raw and SmackDown unless SmackDown are getting tag team titles. In another fresh match in tag team action, Darren Young and Zack Ryder beat R the Miz and Rusev. So going for these, building some for them heading into Battleground. In another fresh match, Bray Wyatt beats Xavier Woods to build some for him heading into this Sunday's Battleground. It was meant to be in a fresh match. Kane taking on Kevin Owens, but the match didn't start. Kane chokes on both Sami Zayn and Owens. The, the 
new face of fear, Bray Wyatt, and the last kick of Becky Lynch got drafted to SmackDown. Becky Lynch, fair enough, and Bray Wyatt, that's a good choice. Sami Zayn, The Boss, Sasha Banks, and Y2J, Chris Jericho, drafted to Raw, fair enough. In another fresh match, Charlotte and Dana Brooke beat The Boss, Sasha Banks, in a handicap match to build a winter for these heading into Battleground. The next draft picks, excuse me, <coughs> the Intercolor Champion, The Miz, and the Bone Wolf, Baron Corbin, got drafted to SmackDown. Who cares about Baron Corbin and The Miz? That's a good choice so that your Intercolor Championship is now on SmackDown. Uh, excuse me, the United States Champion, Rusev, Kevin Owens, and Enzo and Big Cass got drafted to Raw. Uh, so, US Championship is now on Raw. Uh, Kevin Owens, okay. I would have had Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn, but one, one on one SmackDown, one on three, one on Raw, one on SmackDown to separate them and Enzo and Cass. Fair enough. Y2J Critter go beat Cesaro. It's coming for him here. <coughs> Your next draft picks. Sorry, no, a Becky Lynch attack Natalia. So they obviously attack up their match at Battleground. Your next draft picks. From NXT, former NXT Tag Team Champions American Alpha got drafted to SmackDown, so that's good. Good to see them. Then coming to the uh, main roster, and the show off Dolph Ziggler got drafted to SmackDown. Who cares? Going to Raw will be the club, Carl Anderson and Dean and Carl Anderson and uh, Luke Gallo, sorry. Uh, so that means AJ Styles is no longer part of the club, so we're going to see the Balor Club. The Big Show got drafted to Raw, who cares, and from NXT, Nia Jax, so we're going to see her on the main roster. Natalia and Alberto Del Rio both got drafted to SmackDown, who cares. Um, and going to Raw, Sheamus, Cesaro and Neville, who cares about Sheamus, Cesaro fair enough, and Neville, okay. And your main event... On Monday, on SmackDown Live, was for the WWE Championship. The lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose, taking on the man, Seth Rollins. Coming out of the win and still your WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose. So for now, the WWE Championship is on SmackDown. So it was quite a good SmackDown. You had a WWE title match, you had the draft, you had SmackDown going live. Um, and a few guys coming to the main roster. So I give SmackDown 7 people's eyebrows out of 10. Um, there were some draft picks on the network after SmackDown, so I'll just quickly run through them. Going to SmackDown, Zack Ryder, Apollo Crews, fair enough. Alexa Bliss coming from NXT and going to SmackDown, so that's good. Uh, Breeze, Dango, so if I'm going to tell the Breeze, really these two should have been split up. Eva Marie, fair enough. We're getting a main event, uh, well, an official um, main roster spot, fair enough. The Var Villains, that's good. Eric Rowan coming to SmackDown, okay. Mojo Rawley from NXT coming to SmackDown, that's good. Also Carmella from NXT coming to SmackDown, so good to see her on the main roster. Kane and the Usos coming to SmackDown, who cares. <coughs> and Kalisto coming to SmackDown. Sorry, also the Ascension and Naomi. Again, the Ascension should have been split up. Going to Raw. The Dudley Boys, who cares? Summer Ray, fair enough. Mark Henry, okay. Braun Strowman, this was quite a shocker. So they're splitting up the White family. They also want Braun Strowman to be a big star. Bo Dallas, the Shannon Star, so Epicon Primo. Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke, Curtis Axel, who cares about any of these really? Not easy a shock. Uh, Golden Truth, Golden Sonar Truth, again, these should have been split up. Uh, Tatus O'Neill, Paige, Sin Cara, Jack Swagger and Darren Young. Not much to be said about them, except for the fact that obviously now the US title's on SmackDown, and that, sorry, on Raw, and Zach Ryder's getting a shot at Battleground. Obviously he's not going to win, and Darren Young's not going to beat the Miz at Battleground, now that Darren Young's on Raw, and the Unicorn title's on SmackDown. Also, the commentary team has been changed a little bit. JPL, David Otunga, and Mauro Rolano will be commentary commentators on SmackDown. So that's good that JBL will be on SmackDown. At least David O'Tunga is getting um, some airtime. Julie King Lawler will be on the network, probably on the Superstar panel that they do for pay-per-views. 
and on Raw will be Michael Cole, Baron Saxton and making his official main event debut from NXT, Corey Graves. So that's good. There were rumours about Corey Graves being on um, SmackDown, but it was obviously been on, it's going to be on Raw. Uh, unfortunately, there were no rumours, sorry, there were no returns, sorry. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy the draft? Uh, did you think the picks were good? Who who you would who would you have sent to Raw and SmackDown? Um, some of the draft picks were good. Some didn't make sense, and some who cares? But for now, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, add, follow, share. Tell your friends about Rick the Rock. Thanks for watching. If you smell what the Rock is cooking.